Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the RimWorld. I know it's been a while, and there's reasons for that. This is... This is a difficult game for me. It's actually one of the most requested games I get to play. Um, are you going to do some more RimWorld? Why aren't you doing the RimWorld? Can you do some more RimWorld? Uh, but, at the same time, when I do make some, hardly anyone seems to want to watch it. But... We're going to have one more try, uh, because I do enjoy playing this game, I've got to be honest with you. So, I'm going to do at least one more series of this, and then I probably won't do any more until the final version gets released. And we'll take one one final look at it then. But, until then, let's let's dive back into uh, the real world. This is Alpha 11, which is currently the latest released version. So, there's a, a load of new bits and pieces in this, which we're going to... Uh, Hopefully get all excited and enjoy about, but uh, we'll see how we go. Right, first of all, let's have a quick look at the options. Um, I've turned the music right down, the game volume down. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I might turn the music off later on if uh, we if it gets a bit boring and repetitive. We'll see how we are. Um, so nothing special there. Let's create ourselves a new world. So this world is called 750Q. No, let's not call it that. Let's not call it that. At. Um, let's call it I'm right behind you I'm right behind you and how big should we make it um, you know what 200 by 150 is probably good enough let's generate that so the seed for I'm right behind you gives us the, the world of Arkab Al Saif Alright, okay, I quite like this world actually, it's not too bad. A uh, little bit cold at the top there. Desert in the middle, some more. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Um, we got here. So, this is desert, stone type, slate, and granite. I want a little bit more hills than that. I did promise someone that I'd have a crack at doing a, a desert biome run through next time around. This is the next time around, so let's give it a go. So, we'll have hills. This is desert. The growing season is April to September, um, which needs yet. Yeah, it's going to actually get a little bit cold during the winter, but it's not going to be terribly cold. On the bright side, it's not going to be terribly hot during the summer either. So that actually looks quite nice to me. So let's go with that once and finish. So new colony, and this is going to be Cassandra Classic. We'll have go rough, rough next. So this is Arkab Al Saif. Select that one. And where were we looking at? It was around here, wasn't it? We oh, middle mouse button. It was that one, I think. Um, April to September. Yeah, that's the one. So we'll select that site. And let's have a look at our guys here. So we have. Seraph, the negotiator, is a male colonist, age 43, but has been um, around for 119 years. He was a rebel slave and then became a con uh, combat negotiator. He's incapable of artistic and mining, but he's a fair shot, a pa passionate craftsman, which is great, and he's got good social, so I quite like him. Then we have uh, Pete Holliday, the geneticist, who was an artisan farmer. Then became a genetic engineer. He's a pacifist, so he's incapable of violence, which is a slight problem, but not a bad. But that's balanced out by the fact he's a fantastic grower and a pretty good researcher. So yeah, he's understanding that he's not going to get involved in the fight to one side. He's actually going to be a good uh, addition to the team. And we have Luke Lucky Plasmire. He was a coma child and then became a military com commissar. He's incapable of nothing. He's got great social. He's a passionate researcher. A terrible shot, but I think we can deal with that. The downside of him is a prostophobe, so bionic parts to him, uh, attaching bionic parts to him will make him unhappy. Let's hope he doesn't get his arm shot off. So there's our three guys. Let's start. And see what the map's like. You know, one of the most annoying things about this game is whenever you start a new one, 
let's pause that for a second whenever you start a new game it reloads the window which has this wonderful wonderful effect of basically telling the recording software hey I've closed this window you might as well stop recording it and sometimes if you're going to do back-to-back -back recordings you can go on for hours without noticing this which is loads of fun so you've unfortunately missed the first day which is um, yeah, it doesn't auto save at the very start of the game it auto saves after the first day and that was about the time when I noticed it so you've missed a lot of fun stuff I've made a a few zones this is just a general storage zone there we got potatoes growing here we got corn growing here and we're gonna have trees growing here that this doesn't actually seem to be very efficient and over the night I've asked uh, I put in plans for some power generation here going through to a light in there and they built this room this is going to be I think our first dormitory so tomorrow when they wake up in fact let's do that now uh, let's just get time running again let's build some wooden beds and I'm thinking we'll, we'll not sit them in the corner because that gives them a negative moodlet so we'll just put three like that can't put it there because that'll put it in the corner and tomorrow when I wake up and they've built the beds we'll ask for another three to be built and that would be you know our dormitory for the first six people which is perfectly fine holiday seems to be an early riser compared to the other two it's not bad um, we're running very short on wood so I think I'm actually going to put in a lot of plant cutting orders chop wood let's just get this stuff cut down like this so just so we got some basic building materials to get us started because there's a couple more rooms I want to do immediately but over here there's that I just noticed we've got these meals here six meals so that's that's about a day's food which is not bad Let's just have a quick look around to see if there's oh there we go there's six steel there that's a, a little bit of extra building and I think that's about the lot okay other things I want to do here on today is we're going to create a dumping stockpile here and that's a good size I'd say and we want to make this one particularly just for stone so raw resources stone blocks and chunks stone chunks I want to help we'll put steel slag in there as well for now that would just give them the opportunity to move this stuff if they need to a place to put it and that will when we get stone cutting going we'll put the stone cutting there and actually to be totally honest you're thinking about it let's get some research going so that is that one wooden research table drop that there and let's put a wooden stool there for the researcher to sit yeah, he's... so there's plenty of stone around here that we're going to want to move let's speed things up a little bit there's no need to watch this in just single movement speed so yeah we're getting some more stone in here which is great because I want to build across here now and build a just um, yeah, communal area so that's where we'll start doing the cooking and things like that so orders all things let's get those stones moved and research let's select some research and the, the one I want most is stone cutting so we'll research that one there we go and when the research building is the, the research station is built hopefully people will start doing that quickly and where are you going sir oh you are for a walk that's a joy thing to give you some contentment how oh, nice right and they started building those so they should have some beds tomorrow which is going to get rid of the slept on the floor movement needs yes yeah, slept on the ground they don't like it the sharing bed yeah feeling good tons of joy from going for a walk extremely low expectations that's probably a good start thing really isn't it okay so yeah they're fairly happy to start off with which is a good thing and building stuff yeah, it's looking good isn't it so we're chugging along at uh, three times speed 
Things are growing. There's our bed sorted out, so let's get let's get rid of these. And I think we'll ask for three more beds. One, two, three. There you go. That'll get um, that means we've got bedding now for the next three commas. We're gonna need to make a small gel cell, but we can do that later on. Uh, very short on resources. And I'm thinking that uh, a, a mining order would not hurt. So we'll just get that bit mined out to start off with and we'll see where we go from there. Um, are they happier now? No, I don't want to look at the bed. I want to look at the person. Uh, needs... Yeah, well they're not slept on the floor anymore, but he's feeling bad just to make up for it. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, so... Okay, that, that's chugging along nicely. These things are built. They're working all right. Yeah, blocked by a cactus. Looks like you'll be here for a while. Lucky is suggesting you give the colony a name. What should it be called? Uh, I'm not so sure I like the name of Rimtown. Uh, What should we call it? What should we call it? I think we're going to call it... Hmm, what shall we call it? <laughs> Welcome to the town of Lost Hope. It's a good American desert town type name. And let's get rid of that so that this one works a bit better. Not that we really need it just to power one light, but uh, it would be good if we got there. So stone cutting is done immediately, which is excellent. So research, and the next thing we should research is, oh, what should we research? I think down this end would probably be a better idea. Um, hydroponics is not really going to be necessary here, although it might be useful in the winter. Geothermal power. Yeah, let's get geothermal power researched. Then what we'll do is we'll do, when that's done, we'll dismantle that and build a um, a geothermal plant there, which would be great. And orders, uh, not orders, production. We want a wooden stone cutters bench, which we shall put there. And for furniture. We'll give that a little wooden stool as well for the guy to sit on. And when that's built, which seems is going to happen about now. Okay, excellent. Right. Add bill. Make stone blocks. Uh, do until you have X. In fact, let's go into the details. Right. So, we do any sort of chunk. Ingredient radius we want to keep right the way down so that people aren't wandering all over the place to get the stuff. That's why we put the thing next to it. And we shall make uh, do until we have. Let's do that. 260 is probably good. Okay, right. So once we've got some stone being built, and it looks like. Yeah, it looks like we're probably going to be making most of our stuff out of limestone. Uh, it doesn't actually seem to be too much difference between limestone and slate. Uh, that will be. Where did I put the mining? Or, oh, what's this? Ooh, food. Excellent. I have that. Ah, oh, there's the mining. Yeah, they're, they're mining through that at a great speed. That's great. That'll give us some more resources. In fact, we've got plenty of uh, metal for what we need to do at the moment. We have some visitors. The thieves, visitors from the Thief's Crag are visiting the colony. I think it's time we start building another have another structure and what we'll do is think we'll make a communal area and then we'll build a refrigerator off of that and I want to build it here but I think that's a little bit too too far away from the crops uh, I would build it here actually let's let, let's let's do that let's build it here so uh, we need to start building it there up like that 
but then that puts that away from no we will build it here we will build it here so structure wooden door and we'll have two like that and we'll build a wall around it like that there we go that's gives a nice big community area and let's wire that up to the power like that okay and once that's built we'll start putting cooking area in there and in fact actually what I'm thinking about it you put a door stay there yeah that'll do and we'll build the refrigerated area off the side here that'll do nicely okay so geothermal well, geothermal power is, is nearly done what does holiday do holiday is up well that's the reason why he's got so much time to research because he's our cook All right, okay um, getting a little bit low on wood again which is a bit of a problem so let's see what we can chop a few bits and pieces there a few bits and pieces there there is some stuff floating around that can be cut down unfortunately a lot of it's not going to be particularly good for wood because it's the cactus but that'll do wanderer joins a villager named Davis has arrived and is joining the colony. He is a teacher. Okay, let's have a look at Davis here. So Davis the teacher. Let's get you doing these things as a priority. Okay, and also repair. Right, and you are you're an interested miner, which is great, so we'll demote you and we will promote you to our primary miner and you can do hauling as well uh, not particularly interested or indeed adept to anything else you would make a fairly good warden but not a great one and I think that's probably good for you so we'll make that a three we'll make these fours so these are things you'll do when nothing else appeals to you so let's have a bit of a look at you here hello Davis so, Davis, um, you're capable of intellectual and crafting, which is kind of scary as you're a teacher, but never mind. You're psychically sensitive and a nudist. You are going to be really, really, really annoying. I can see that fairly soon, uh, but we'll, we'll put up with you for now. Okay. All right. Oh. Prioritize holding steel. I asked you. Prioritize holding steel. There we go. Thank you very much. That will be very useful for us. Uh, might have to give up and make this one out of... Star, you're doing the joy thing, are you? Actually, that's... There we go. We give you an hour of enforced joy. I'm thinking we'll actually enforce work during the middle of the day, so people will get up um, and then have a couple of hours they can do anything in, a couple of hours they can do anything either side, an enforced hour of joy and then sleep. So, copy and we'll paste that there, there and there. But that just enforces, you know, a block of a block of work during the course of the day. It doesn't seem to really matter, but we'll do it regardless. And perhaps later on we'll put in an hour for lunch in the middle or something like that. But uh, that'll do for now. There we go. All right, let's get back going. And we've got plenty of beds, so that's all right. Research is almost done, which is marvelous. Okay, and. Yep, he's off asleep, so that's going well. He's start his day. He likes his stargazing, doesn't he? Oh, he's cloud watching this time, but he just likes looking up, which is fair enough, really, isn't it? And we're building some stone here. That's good. We've got 60 stone. 
and research screen uh, cremation is always a good one to get at the start yeah let's get cremation there we go research that and I think actually what we're going to do here is let's deconstruct this like that and let's make some stone walls instead so limestone walls Oh, you are, you are being annoying, aren't you? Cancel this. Cancel this. No, I want that deconstructed still. All right, you and we will structure, 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 structure. Limestone walls. So like that. There you go, nice big building, and we'll cancel that little bit at the end there, because that got a bit excited and carried on too far. And when that's deconstructed, we will get that... How much How much limestone? Not nearly enough limestone to make that, but at least we're actively producing limestone, whereas wood is a bit hard for us to make. Uh, we can use the wood for other things, to be totally honest with you. As we have, we've used it for those doors. Okay, and get that there we are. Alright. Okay. And as we get more stone constructed, what I will do is I will deconstruct the wood around this and we'll carry on that way. And we end up with a, a lot of stone buildings because quite frankly stone is the easiest stuff for us to make. We have visitors from village at the forest, that's nice. Okay, and actually, do we have someone who prioritizes crafting? We don't really yet, do we? Uh, the only person is Seraph, who will do it if there's no more hauling to do. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be it, really, isn't it? Oh, let's, let's make that a four for everyone else. So if they've got any idle time, they will do some of that. There we go, right. Okay. So I think we're coming up nearly to the end of the first episode. We've got a few more minutes yet, so let's see what they do for the next few days. All right, they're leaving. How are we doing? Okay, yep, yeah, this is almost grown. So we're going to get some harvesting soon. Yeah, the corn doesn't grow as well as the potatoes by the looks of it. But that's okay. Not much we can do about it, even if it wasn't really. Are we have an eclipse? We don't have any solar panels, not the end of the world. Uh, cremation is researched. And we will go with hydroponics. We research hydroponics, there we go. I want to get brewing started fairly soon, but we don't have a huge amount of that available. Cargo pods. Jump to location. What is this? Pops. Thinking about brewing. There we go, and who was who's idle? Seraph and Davis. Davis, prioritize holding hops. There we go. You stressed? Why are you stressed? Uh, eight off the ground, ugly environment, sharing bedroom, feeling terrible. No apparent reason. I just feel terrible right now. Well, let's let's deal with some of these things. Uh, people eating off the ground is a bit of a problem, so. Let's make ourselves a short table. Oh, how much? How many slate blocks is needed for that? Fifty. No, we'll make it out. Make it out of steel. We've got more steel than anything else at the moment. So let's get that that built, and we'll put just some simple stools two, three, four, and then people don't need to eat off the ground, that'll make them happier. Running low on food, so that's got to be our priority fairly soon. And I think actually we'll make that the next thing we look at. So, uh, production, 
We shall have a cook stove. Which actually does fit quite neatly there. So let's put it there and we will have a butcher's table. Uh, there we go. Butcher's table. We'll make it out of steel as well because we've got lots of that. And we'll put that there. And when those get set up we shall get people cooking and butchering. So let's speed this up a little bit. And... I think that is where we're going to leave it. That's the uh, the end of episode one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, it's certainly been much asked for, so I'm really, really hoping that you guys have uh, have had fun watching this. Uh, but please leave me a comment. Please leave me a like if you've liked it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps. Uh, did I mention comments? Please leave a comment. They're a very useful thing. But until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been The Rim World. Thank you and good night.